Hey guys, this is Ted and Aaron, and we're going to show you guys how to sniff VoIP uh, with Kane. Hey guys. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up Kane, go to configure, and choose your wireless card. Click OK, go to the sniffer tab, and first thing you're going to want to do is enable the sniffer. Um, and then you right click and scan for MAC addresses. Don't check any of this stuff, just click OK. And it will find all of the MAC addresses in your current network. Um, now if you want to find out what a computer, the computer's host name, you have to right click on it and resolve the host name. All right, so Green Rabbit, that's, that's the computer that we want to sniff the VoIP call from. Um, this is the router. So what we're going to do is uh, use a technique called APR poisoning. So you go to the APR tab, uh, you click in this box, click the plus, and you select the router, and then you select Green Rabbit. So basically what this will do is take all the traffic between uh, Green Rabbit and the router, and runs it through this computer and just looks at everything and then passes it on to the router. Um, it's known as a man in the middle attack. So our next step will be to start the poisoning. We'll head over to the VoIP tab and we'll wait for an incoming call. Answer the call and it shows up right there, recording. Um, so what this will do is it'll it'll try to save it to a wave file so then once a call is done you can actually open up the WAV file and uh, listen to the conversation the only restriction is that um, we're only going to hear one half of the conversation because I guess the only way to really hear both ends of the conversation is if you had Kane running on this network and the destination network so uh, we're going to end the call now. Uh, we'll wait for this to stop recording. Maybe. It takes a while. But, you know, whatever. Just getting closer to 15 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so it's finally done recording. Um, the problem we've always run into is that uh, Kane doesn't know what codec our VoIP uh, software. software is using. Uh, and we've done a little bit of research, and it turns out that our VoIP software is using uh, an encrypted connection between the two computers. So there's really no way, at least we couldn't find a way to uh, crack that. Um, if we were using like a, if we were on like a VoIP network, like at a bank or a hotel or something like that, this should theoretically work just fine, and we'd have a WAV file that we could listen to right away. So that is VoIP sniffing.